think the World Health Organization is the authority in the world who will take the decision on whether we need an H5 and an HN and one uh, vaccine or not. So these days the WHO will give that recommendation. If they will decide to ask manufacturers to produce H1 and one vaccine, then I expect that this will be a monovalent separate from the seasonal influenza vaccine and that vaccine manufacturers will start produ producing the H1N1 as a monovalent vaccine separate from the seasonal trivalent vaccine. H1N1 is a new virus. The vaccine which we'll make is a new vaccine for which we have no research done, no safety data. Mm -hmm. So the regulatory authorities, luckily, they will require at least some safety testing before we can give it to millions of people. Mm -hmm. So that we've, we have a technical production time and we need also testing time. And that period is estimated to take four to six months before vaccines really become available. A number of countries have made contracts for such a situation mm -hmm. and have agreed with vaccine manufacturers to deliver X number of doses for their country when they are uh, producing the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Most countries don't have these contracts. So a matter of the distribution and where is it needed and how much that needs to be sorted out and is being sorted out now by many of the national and European authorities and the World Health Organization because we need to be flexible at one hand but we also need to, uh, to comply with the contracts which are in place at the moment.